Internet and smartphone addiction is a real thing that we go through every single day. We pick up our phones going through Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, any form of social media that we can, and we scroll for hours on end without even noticing how much time we've really spent. When the Pope announced that he was coming to America, he launched an app that allowed you to follow his visits and stream his visit across any social media as long as you had this app. The church believed that the, the internet and smartphones would help create a larger and stronger connection between those of the younger millennium and the church. Yes, iPhone and iPads and tablets have created such a positive effect on our lives, yet they have had also a very large negative impact on our lives. We have become more reliant on social media and iPhones and just constantly checking our phones and not living in the moment. Growing up, I knew if I saw one of these rainbow colored thing, I knew it was going to be a great day. Nowadays, if children see an iPad in their class, they are just as excited to do something that is not as fun. Children have gone to learning to have fun, playing with your neighbors outside till dark, being forced to come inside, to, to rather be sitting next to each other in silence on their iPads. This teaches them that it's okay to be with each other but really not be in the moment and to just be more reliant to have an iPad entertain you rather than the company of your friends and learning how to communicate face to face, face to face and create a relationship. Too many times I have seen little kids sitting next to each other watching the same thing, playing the same game and saying less than five words to each other. Parents often go out to eat with their family and you see their children sitting at their table on their tablets not interacting with their family, having a conversation because their parents don't want to be bothered by their children or they don't want to have them be bored and make a scene at the restaurant. So they'd much rather have their kid be reliant and think that it's okay that I don't have to talk to people because this iPad is so much more fun than talking to people. 40% of children will have an experience or own an iPad before they can even talk. This has changed the way we have seen the internet and how we use the internet. Before, you could only use internet when it was hooked up to your wall, hooked up to a computer, and the computer went about five miles an hour. Now, we have it at the tip of our fingers and it can be disposed at any moment. You can find out how your friend in China is doing within five seconds, as before you would have to write a letter send it halfway across the world and wait forever to hear back. As teenagers, we find ourselves scrolling on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Buzzfeed, finding the latest memes, jokes, and it keeps us up for hours because we don't know how much time has passed because we've been scrolling all night long on Twitter. Our addiction and constant need for more of the internet and social media has caused so many fatal accidents on the road because people can't help that they need that their phone in their hand of every moment of every day that they pick it up while they're driving and that causes them to be distracted and that can cause a fatal crash. We can fix this issue by learning when enough of internet and phones is enough. We have to put down our phones and live in the moment you can do this by simply turning off your phone and just putting it away for a while. Seeing that your brothers or sisters are spending too much time inside on Xbox or whatever and just have them go outside. Create a special no technology zone somewhere in your house or make it a rule at dinner time that no phones out. And this allows you to have a face-to-face -face conversation with your family and not be on your phone.